tell me why this garbage can is here? We're finally getting rid of our textbooks? <laughs> well, we're not getting rid of our books. They're expensive. And this one is still in its shrink wrap. <laughs> I'm waiting for the movie. I wonder who the cast is potassium. <laughs> anyway. The garbage can is here so we can see how liquid expands when it becomes a gas through the process of vaporization. Stand back. <laughs> Not that far back. <laughs> I'm going to cap this liquid nitrogen and put it in the garbage can, causing the pressure to build up, which will result in... <laughs> Really? Even when there's an explosion? Echo, would you please wake him up? Not me. Come on. <laughs> He's not going to bite. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I got this. <laughs> wow. This class just flew by. <sighs> Derby, you need to sleep at night. You don't see anyone else sleeping. Okay, new lesson. Stop that. <laughs> We're going to do an experiment, so you'll see how important sleep is by coming in Saturday and spending the night here. Like a sleepover? More like a lack of sleepover. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you'll come in at 8 p.m. By then, you'll have been awake all day. That's true. We don't have science class on Saturdays. <laughs> then we'll stay here for 24 hours and study how it affects us. If you fall asleep, you'll have to do a written report on sleep deprivation, but if you stay awake, it's an easy A. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, back to today's lesson. Gas expands by... <laughs> wow. This class just flew by. <laughs> okay, see you all Saturday night. Sound quality on this baby is amazing. <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. Nice PJs. What's so funny? What'd I miss? Are we telling jokes? Hey, everybody. Nice pajama slab. Oh, these old things? I've had them since I was a baby. Wow. Your poor mother. Echo, is this what you wear at night? Because I'd always imagine more of a silky little... I'm here. <laughs> Sleep deprivation can cause things like... Headaches. Irritability. Memory lapses. Muscle aches. That's crazy. Ow! Stupid chair. Ow! just happened? <laughs> Headache, irritability, memory lapse, muscle aches. Sadly, this is the best you've ever done in my class. <laughs> See? Some people are starting to get sleepy and we're only two hours into this experiment. Interestingly enough, the record for intentionally staying awake is 264 hours. Documented the September 2003 edition of the International Journal of Neurological... <laughs> well, looks like you're gonna have to do a written report. But that doesn't mean you can't stick around for an incredible learning opportunity. <laughs> I'm
I'm just gonna go use the bathroom. How do I know you're not planning to take a nap in there? <gasps> How dare you think I would cheat? <laughs> just for that, I'm going to go use the bathroom. You know, I suspected that you guys would try to sneak in a little sleep, so I got someone to help keep an eye on you. Who? I don't see anyone. You are not cool! But I am here anyway! Ah! Dang! That time you called! Ah! Okay. Well, I guess I don't need to use the bathroom anymore. Very good, class. One of the ways to stay awake is to stimulate the brain through mental activities like game playing. That's why I'm playing Blind Man's Bluff. Why are we still playing Blind Man's Bluff? We're not. We're playing Blind Men's Bluff. will keep me awake. There is a time and place for Brahms, and this is not it. You're listening to hypnotism, radio, and you are getting sleepy, very sleepy. I don't want to get sleepy, very sleepy. By which a eukaryotic cell divides the chromosomes in its nucleus. Into is there anything on the radio that isn't painfully boring? This is our series of lectures from renowned teenage scientist Adam Young. <laughs> oh, yeah! This followed I forgot I did this. Ooh, we're getting to the part about organelles. Organ Turn it up. <laughs> Cool, fresh night air will help us stay awake. Huh. I didn't realize it was a full moon tonight. Ah! <laughs> what? Slabs a werewolf! No, I'm not. I just haven't shaved since this morning. Derby, could you get my back? <laughs> there, done. <sighs> Great. Now rub in this botanical aftershave lotion. Not just you. <laughs> now I bet he'll go on and on about how exercise increases oxygen flow to the brain, lymphatic, and nervous systems. Interestingly, some studies suggest it protects against cognitive decline as well as... I knew it! It's not the science that's boring. It's you! I'm so tired. I need to find a way to stay awake. I got it. Dang! You call? Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dang! You call? Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Stop that! This 
is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> it's only 8 a.m.? We still have... 12. 12 hours to go? Go faster. <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. What's all the ruckus? Mrs. Byrne, what are you doing here? It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Time for school. Although a couple of days a week, no one shows up. That's because it's the weekend. The what? Oh, you youngsters and your crazy slang. Do I smell bacon? I know what this is. An olfactory hallucination. When you're tired, you can smell, see, or hear things that aren't there. Oh, like that time I thought I saw you in the tree across from my bedroom window. Right. The mind does crazy things. I smell bacon, too. I smell botanical aftershave. And bacon. <laughs> See, I told you it was a hallucination. Just like the time I wasn't in that tree. Time for brunch! <laughs> Dang, you cooked for us because you knew we'd be up all night, tired and hungry. No. I do this every week, but usually it's just me and Mrs. Byrne. Have you ever heard of the War of 1812? <laughs> she upsets with that war. This food looks awesome. You all welcome to stay. We have omelet bar. <laughs> Smoothie bar. Ah. Salad bar. <laughs> nah. I'd love some pancakes. Get them yourself. I'll not work here. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Right. One of the symptoms of sleep deprivation is loss of muscle control. It wasn't your fault. <gasps> Oops. All par for the course. At least Lab missed you. <laughs> All to be expected. Thank you, Dang. This was a lovely meal. We're really sorry about the mess. It okay. I not have to clean on weekend. Raccoon will eat all food and fine. Raccoon? Vicious raccoon. This be good time to start running. Too <laughs> late. <laughs> Ow! 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 Jump off! Jump deep! Don't you feel better now that you're all cleaned up? Yup. <laughs> and I'm so glad you had a spare pair of pajamas to lend me. C. 
See, I set one alarm clock to go off every minute. That way, I won't fall asleep. Good idea, huh? <laughs> now, which one is ringing? <laughs> Nope, not this one. This isn't it. Next time you have a good idea, don't. <laughs> Which one is going off now? Could have been one of the ones I already checked. Better start from the beginning. It's amazing! You're the first person to ever solve the Pollock octahedral numbers conjecture! The what? <laughs> nah, the sound of chalk keeps me awake. doesn't actually love you guys. She's just experiencing sleep deprivation induced euphoria. This has nothing to do with that. I just really love you guys. I hate you guys so much. This is normal. It's just another symptom. Irritation. I hate you most of all, Mr. Smarty see-through pants. <laughs> How do you look so awake? Cold temperature is gonna help stave off exhaustion. It's not that cold in here. I may or may not have an ice maker in my pants. <laughs> A complete sleep cycle takes 90 to 110 minutes on average. The first sleep cycles each night contain relatively wow. short rem periods. I can't believe how interesting this is. <laughs> Adam is a great teacher. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. Hey, have I always had this voice in my head? Not just that one. Who are you? It's Barry. Barry from kindergarten? I thought you moved to a small town in the south of France. May we? Derby, shouldn't you be paying attention? Adam! Contain relatively short REM periods. You're in my head too? Periods. Guess who's here? Barry from kindergarten. Oh, hey Barry, what have you been up to? Oh, not much. Split my time between the south of France and Derby's head. I like to go in the off season, when there aren't so many people. Yeah, the south of France can get pretty crowded. I meant Derby's head. Well, we've seen all the symptoms of sleep deprivation, except for hallucinations. <laughs> Slab, you can't just take Derby's money. Derby's money? I got these $200 for passing go. <laughs> Thank you. You're quite welcome, young sir. Step aside. It's my turn again. One, three. One. One, two, three. It looks like Slab's hallucinating. I'm afraid so, old chap. But I have worse news. You have to go directly to jail. What? 
All right, move it along. You lousy thimble. Come on, hurry up. Hey, I have an alibi. I was with the shoe. Move it along. Hey everyone, it's eight o'clock. We all get A's in the assignment. Yay! I'm just glad I got through the whole experiment without hallucinating. Congratulations, that's quite an accomplishment. Thank you. Listen, I know I'm a raccoon and you're a human being. But I was wondering if you'd care to join me in the dumpster for a little garbage. Yeah, I could go for an apple core. Maybe a nice fish head. <laughs> Great. Say, if my mom drops by, tell her you're a raccoon. 